Okay, so here we are. We're doing a test of a variety of chemicals and such on Ballistic Squire. And uh, we just want to show you what we have. We have paint thinner, the 100% mineral spirits right there. We have some DOT5 brake fluid. Uh, we have antifreeze. And then we have oil behind that. This is our... Uh, oil we collect for recycling and it's quite the concoction because it does have brake cleaner brake fluid and such mixed in with it uh, and we found that this particular concoction has created some stains on some coatings we've tested before so we always like to use that we have some never sees here never sees doesn't always stain but occasionally it does at least with the lower grade epoxies we found it it does then we have some brake cleaner some uh, gear oil unfortunately we don't have any old gear oil and then we cleaned off the bottle and erased the uh, <laughs> the label but it's a uh, muriatic acid right here uh, I believe it's a 37 percent solution um, so we're going to leave this on for 24 hours or so and see what we get and we'll come back and clean it up. Okay, so here we are. It's a little over 24 hours later. Um, we can see the oil is really run. And it's probably because ballistics just repels everything so well. Um, Okay, our paint thinner has just evaporated. There's nothing there. So let's clean this up and see what we get. You can see our muriatic acid. Everything else seems to be still there. Just the oil really ran. Okay. Let's see here. I'm going to move some of this and start wiping it up. See what we get. Wow. <laughs> Sorry for the shaky camera. I'm just <laughs> trying to do this while holding it. Okay. Wow, not even the muriatic acid has left a mark. Sometimes it'll be like a yellow mark, and there's just nothing there. Like I said, this is not the best concrete for this. I mean, it's not a solid color, but there, there are no stains whatsoever, and I just used a paper towel to wipe this up with. And again, this is the Ballistic Squire. Uh, just over 24 hours, probably closer to 30, and that's pretty impressive. All right, the only mark that we have on this, this is incredible, is the brake fluid. But if we look really close, there's a crack that runs through here. And this is really bad concrete that we have. And the initial application of the water-based acrylic sealer probably did not fill that crack very well. And it really doesn't. Water-based sealers like that don't. If we'd put another application on there, it might have made a difference. But it's one reason we never put a coating on this particular floor. It's because the concrete's so bad. And I don't believe that is a failure of ballistics. But instead, that brake fluid was able to get in to the crack. Because ballistics is not going to seal over cracks like that. It's not going to bridge gaps. So that I believe is why we have that stain right there. 
Okay, so what we're going to do here is we're going to apply a little brake fluid again to an area where we don't have any cracks. And we're going to let it sit there for another 24 hours to see what happens. Because I want to test our theory about the brake fluid. Okay, so here we are next day and to check the brake fluid and it looks like I can tell already look at that no stain whatsoever so my theory was right what happened here is because this is this concrete that we have uh, that we never put a coating on is just so porous and soft that we should have used two coats of the water-based acrylic sealer you can see all the little fine cracking in it everywhere and as a result what happened is is that ballistics just wasn't able to bridge that gap and that's fairly common for a lot of high-performing thin mill coatings and uh, brake fluid is very caustic and, and if there's any little gaps um, it will definitely find it in in a coating and so over here uh, we didn't have any of those little fine cracks and such and the one coated acrylic sealer was fine so when the ballistics was laid over that it could not find a way to to get between the cracks and there you go that's that's pretty impressive to have brake fluid on there and not not stain